Good morning, folks. We'll be taking a look at space weather, upcoming geomagnetic conditions, the severe weather forecast, new video from Sky Scholar, and the latest update on the Radcliffe wave. We are starting with the last 24 hours on our star, and the big northern sunspots have released several more M-class solar flares, all still impulsive, and the southern coronal hole has turned through the Earth-facing longitudes. Its solar wind is currently on its way, and models are also showing that the filament eruption from two and a half days ago may have had an Earth-directed component. That filament eruption off the limb may deliver a glancing blow, and we know a coronal hole stream is coming. One or both are expected to arrive at Earth tomorrow. Very minor geomagnetic storm conditions are possible when they do. We have some new, smaller sunspots incoming at the limb on the left, and we'll be watching their development as we head into the week. And of course, we are still monitoring the large northern sunspots. They have continued their flaring in M-class range, but still pose threats for X-class eruptions. The magnetism of those sunspots shows that they have potential mixing activity where the large opposing polarity sunspots exist in the forward half of the region. We've got eyes on them. Weather is going to get interesting in the United States in a couple days. A low pressure cell is going to descend into the Midwest and the convergence line where air masses slam together from different directions has an excellent chance to produce tornadoes, definitely severe weather. The convergence region will shift from south of the Great Lakes southward further as Tuesday goes into Wednesday. Please, everyone in this area be on alert for those severe storms on Tuesday and Wednesday as the system rolls through. It's a new video out on Sky Scholar, the job Dr. Robitaille is doing elucidating the issues in astronomy and astrophysics is peak academia. Link is below to his latest video here, one of my highest subscribe recommendations on YouTube, some of the best redshift reality content since Halton Arp in his latest. Now last but not least, we are back at the Radcliffe wave, where what all the astronomers had suspected is now confirmed. The wave is oscillating. This is critical to confirm that it's not an ancient relic of formation dynamics, but an ongoing crafting of the wave, likely by the galactic current sheet. We have a video coming out later this afternoon breaking down the Radcliffe wave from discovery to this newest update and all the science in between. We greatly appreciate your support. We've still got eyes on our star. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.